Hi everyone, welcome back to a monthly net worth and debt payoff progress report. Hi everyone, my name is Jackie and we are enjoying life's journey. Welcome back to the channel. So every month I've been sharing with you how our net worth has been progressing, what areas are we calculating into our net worth, and how much do we pay off on our debt. I have a basic tracker form on Excel. For those of you who have followed my channel, you know that I really like to use Excel. There's nothing fancy about it. But basically what we do is we take any of our assets, we minus the debt that we owe on it, and then that equals our overall net worth. This net worth also includes savings or investment accounts, those type of things. So let's jump on the Excel sheet and we'll see how did we do. So like I mentioned, we're going to go through each of our assets. We're going to minus out our debt what versus what it's pretty much worth or what we're estimating it's worth. These are all estimates. We obviously wouldn't know what they're officially worth until we sold them, but it's just a good way just to kind of have an idea of what we have going on and how things are looking. Now we have been keeping track of this over the last couple um, years. So you can see up here how things have changed between either um, taking on more debt, refinancing, paying off a debt, how things have kind of fluctuated and changed um, throughout the year. So like I mentioned, we're finished, we finished out February of 2022. The first thing we like to start with is our home. So we currently owe $187,525 on it. This is green because we did make our regular monthly payment. So part of our payment goes towards the principal, basically the balance of what we owe. And part of the payment does go toward the interest of the loan. But that number is green because it did go down. So we're starting to pay off that debt. According to Zillow, again, this is their estimates. The value of our house is now worth $293,800. So this means that we have around $106,000 worth of equity or a positive net worth in our home. So that is awesome. The next area is my husband's truck. So if you guys have been following along, he had a um, 2015 truck um, that we only owed 16000 16, on. We traded it in, and so now um, he had a new loan. So we've just been leaving the value of the truck at about $40,000. I update this maybe every quarter, so after um, or maybe in March or in April, I will be going on the Kelly Blue Book, and then we'll see how the value plays out there. Most likely the value is going it will steadily decrease, but hopefully we can pay off the debt um, at a rate that keeps a positive equity in the in the truck. But we currently owe $36,253. We did make the minimum payment, so part of it went towards the principal and part of it went towards the interest. So currently, um, if we were to sell the truck, we'd make we'd have maybe about 3,700, you know, if we or if we were to trade it in, we have maybe around uh, 3,700 to put towards a different vehicle or something like that. My car is paid off. So the last time we checked Kelly Blue Book, it was worth 24,000. I made this orange because basically there was no change from the month before, but that's how much if we were to try to go sell my car, we would get around 24,000 for that. Again, in the next month or two, we will be checking the Kelly Blue, Blue Book value. The other one is our teardrop trailer that we got last year. Uh, I did have a viewer on last month's video mention that the teardrop um, depreciation, it probably went way lower than that. I did do some research and our particular teardrop in the year, there's still the MSRP, whatever it is, it's still around 16,000. So I'm just leaving it at the 13,9 because that's what we paid for ours. We did have tax and sale tax, so we actually paid for like 16,000. We put about 6,000 down, we, or you know, we put about 5,000 down. I think we financed about 10,000. So we still owe 10,411. Again, we made our minimum payment. So part of that went to interest, part of it went towards our principal, but it's great because it is lower than the month before. I will continue to monitor the value of this teardrop. And again, once it dips below this 13.9, I will update that number. So again, if we were to sell the teardrop, we have about $3,488 that we could use. We have no intention to sell the house, the truck, the car, or the teardrop, but it's just to know that this is a positive net worth, that even though we have the debt associated with that item, we still owe less 
than what we owe, which is the idea. A lot of people end up getting upside down in their vehicles and they owe more on their vehicle than it's even worth. Our savings um, is up slightly. We have $5,486 in savings. Um, for those of you who watch my budget video, you're gonna say, Jackie, I thought you don't have an emergency fund saved. That's correct. We don't have an emergency fund saved. Um, a good chunk of this is already, it's saving for, um, we are getting our patio cover done. It's gonna cost us around 4,400 or 4,800, something like that. So this majority of this is for that patio. That's gonna be installed in the next two to four months. So that money has just been sitting in the savings account waiting for that patio. The other amount in here is a combination of some of the money I have put in savings from my self-employment. So we were basically, we were able to add a little bit to savings. So it went green from the month before. These numbers, the savings, you're always going to see them going up and down and up and down because that's just what we're doing. Um, our savings, this is not just the emergency fund. This is savings for other things that we're trying to cash flow, like the house projects and stuff as well. Uh, Ricky's 401k, we had another month, we had two months in a row where it went down. Last year we ended with 30,000. Um, now we have 28,000 in there. So it's red because the value of the 401k went down. The uh, My Roth IRA, I have one Roth IRA that has $654 in it and I have another one that has $384 in it. Um, these are orange. I didn't change anything. I usually go on these on a quarterly basis to check the statement to see the growth of those. Um, we do plan on starting in May, we're going to start adding to the Roth IRAs again, but we're not going to be adding to the 401k because my husband started a new job and we cannot do the 401k until he's been there for six months. So we're going to start doing the um, Roth IRAs. We're going to do 10% into the Roth IRAs. And then in October, we'll start adding 5% into the 401k. So we'll be investing 15% of our income by October of this year. I also have a Robinhood account that has $231 in there. I didn't add anything. And again, I, I check the value roughly on every quarter. And I do have $71.90 worth of Bitcoin. So I have a gaming laptop. Um, I love this thing, but it's not cheap. But I bought this a few years ago, primarily for editing videos and being able to do these types of screen share recording videos. Uh, and then I found out that I could mine for Bitcoin using my graphics card. So that's what I've been doing. And I've just been making, you know, roughly 20 bucks a month, nothing crazy, but hey, it's free money. If I if we take all of our assets minus the debt that we owe, our net worth is now $172,389.95. <laughs> that was a great month. Even though we lost our retirement, even though we lost a couple thousand in retirement, everything else is still planning it is working out really well. So basically from January through February, our net worth increased by $9,902. We were able to pay off $1,361 worth of debt. We invested $317 into the 401k. So I made this red because we invested less than we invested the month before. Um, and then we added $581 to our savings that we did not add, or the month before. So basically about 35% of our income went to increase our net worth between paying off debt, saving and investing. But yeah, so that's really great. We're up. Yeah, so that was just a really quick video on our net worth and debt payoff progress report. What I care about is as long as this number is consistently going up and our debts are slowly going down, I'm happy. I mentioned this in a few other videos. Our retirement goal is to have 800,000 within all of our retirement vehicles and to have things set up so that we can, uh, my husband can retire by 56 if he wanted to. He doesn't have to, but if he wanted to. So I know we need to be investing like 15 to 20% of his income in order for that to happen. So just because he started a new job for the month of April, we're just gonna be um, adding to our emergency fund. And then starting back in May, we're gonna be investing 10% to the Roth. Then we'll get into fit, we'll have 5% in the 401k. So we'll be investing 15% of our income um, by October. And we should be able to, um, if we include my employer, my husband's new employer match of 4% will be the equivalent of investing 19%. We do plan on having the teardrop paid off by October of this year. And we want to have the truck paid off 
probably it will probably take another year and a half so basically in two years we should be able to have those paid off now even if we were to um, slow pay our debts meaning we only made the minimum payment because we refinanced our 30-year mortgage to a 15-year mortgage we would still be 100 percent debt free in 14 years um, even if we didn't pay anything extra so i feel comfortable for us to throw you know 15 20 percent at our retirements and even if we only slow pay the rest of the debt we'd still be able to have everything in order the where, way we want it by the age of 56 or 57 so we're definitely making progress we've come a long way for those of you who followed our channel we had a negative net worth we only made about 1400 a month back in the day we were on food stamps and all of this so we have gradually come out um, we have paid off some debts and accumulated new debts but that's kind of how life goes, especially when it's a household full of spenders, which we are. So we're making progress, baby steps. But I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, I hope it encourages you to track your net worth and to set a retirement goal for yourself and to kind of just see where everything plays out. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.